ladies and gentlemen. I'm Richard Herben of Compute to Food of Society Mars, and I'm going to give you the second part of my review on a cavalry helmet uh, that I've done a couple of months ago. I promise you a second part, so here it is. But first, a toast to Prince Maurits from Oranje Nassau. To the Prince. And this is what we came up with so far. Check it out. It's forged blackened now. It's blackened with oil and soot, which makes for a, a nice even black finish, which prevents it from rusting and makes it even look more tough. Furthermore, we've added ventilation holes. The ventilation holes are actually based on, on an original pattern of a, a helmet that's in a private collection of a person we know. Original vending holes. We've also enlarged the vision slits, which were minute at first, so now you can actually see something. You know, that's a big pro. We've also added a plume holder. It's riveted to the back, so you can add a nice set of plumes. And we've inserted a liner. That's what all these rivets are for. They're attached to a band. We made one small mistake while installing the liner bands. That's this. It, I actually went too far. You can see on the inside. And uh, these rivets prevented the whole helmet from closing. So I had to remove those and uh, plug the holes. So something for the next time. What else? Uh, there's a liner inside now. It's made of wool and linen. It's padded with uh, raw wool, which gives it a nice and tight fit, which it needs to have. If you're riding horseback, you don't want a wobbly helmet, of course. So this is how it fits. It fits nice and tight. And the only thing is that um, this, the rivet to keep it, uh, to hold it apart, uh, to hold it together, is actually a knot on the ball. Uh, which I thought was handy to to uh, to keep, but <laughs> it it seems that every time I close a helmet and open it, it unwinds the rivet. So at one point it's going to fall apart. So it's not handy at all. I need to replace it with an actual rivet. So that's it. And another thing is uh, the hooks are still made of wire which should also be forged. So that's a thing to improve in the future as well. But for now, I think it's a pretty tough, pretty cool looking helmet for a small amount of money, only a couple of hundred euros instead of six, eight, 900 euros. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm quite content with it. I hope you are too. So thank you for watching this review part two perhaps i'll post some more reviews if you want to and uh have a great day see you later